Hello, everybody. Today we are learning quantifiers. Quantifiers. Okay. We use quantifiers to talk about how much there is of something. How much there is of something. We always put the quantifier before the noun it describes. So quantifier always comes before the noun it describes. So quantifier plus noun. Okay. Quantifier plus noun, usually. For example, how many people work in your office? Are there any Americans there? Here you can see how many. Many is quantifier and people, okay? People is noun. Are there any Americans? Any Americans, okay? Quantifier and American. There isn't enough coffee left. Can you, can you lend me some money to buy more? Enough coffee here, you can see. Enough coffee and some money. Some money, okay? So next, A. There are too many dirty cups. There are too many dirty cups. There is exclamation mark. D. I don't know why. I washed up a lot of cups last night. A lot of cups. Here you can see. So too many dirty cups cups down too many quantifiers a lot of quantifier cups down next how much bread have we got how much bread have we got so how much bread so quantifier plus noun and not much there are only a few slices left there are only a few slices left left here you can see a few and slices plus noun Okay. I've only got a little money left. A little money. Quantifier plus noun. I spent far too much money at the weekend. Too much money here you can see. Quantifier plus noun. Okay. All right. Next slide. We use some and any before countable or uncountable nouns when we don't want to be specific about quantities so we use some any before countable uncountable nouns it doesn't matter and we don't know or we are not sure about the quantity about the quantity you are not specific about it we usually use some in positive sentences offers or requests okay now some examples for some He's got some very interesting things to say about the project. Some very interesting, so adjective actually. Things are countable nouns, okay? Countable plural noun. And this is positive sentence. Positive sentence. Next. Would you like some more tea? Would you like some more tea? Here you can see tea, it's uncountable noun. And this is an offer. I'm offering you tea. Next. Could I borrow some note paper, please? Could I, could I borrow some note paper, please? So some note paper is uncountable, okay? Request, All right. Now, we use any in negative sentences and questions. Now about any. We use them, we use any in negative sentences and in questions. For example, I can't find my, I can't find any whiteboard pens. I can't find any whiteboard pens. This is negative because there is can't and uh, there is any you should use before noun. Whiteboard pens. Pens are plural here. Negative sentence. Next. Have you got any ideas about the presentation? Have you got any ideas about the presentation? Any ideas? Here you can see any plus ideas. So quantifier plus noun. And this is question, there is question mark. All right, so next slide. We use a lot of, or let's lots of, they are synonyms actually, a lot of or lots of. So when you say a, eh, you say lot. When you omit a, eh, you say lots of, okay? You add s to lot. When we talk about large quantities, now this is about large quantities, and we use a few or a little when we talk about small quantities 
small quantities, okay? So large quantities, small quantities, a lot of, a few, a little, okay? Now example. Here you can see a table, countable nouns with uncountable nouns. Small quantity, large quantity. So let's talk first about small quantity, a few. So guys, we use a few before countable nouns, okay? We use a little before uncountable nouns, okay? And both of them, both of them mean small quantity, okay? For example, there are a few people I know here. There are a few people I know here. It means several people I know, not a lot of people. The quantity of people I know is small. There is a little water in the bottom of the glass. There is a little water in the bottom of the glass. Okay, so there is some water, not a lot of water in the glass. Now let's talk about large quantity. Large quantity is described with a lot of, lots of, a lot of, lots of, it doesn't matter. And we use both uncountable noun or countable noun, uncountable noun, after a lot of. It doesn't matter then. All right. For example, he's got a lot of friends. Friends, so countable. There aren't lots of places to go. Lots of places, countable plural noun. Now, uncountable noun. There isn't a lot of milk left. There isn't a lot of milk left. Here you can see a lot of milk, uncountable noun. We've got lots of time. We've got lots of time. Time is uncountable now. All right. Now, next slide. We use much or many for quantities in question and negative sentences. Questions and negative sentences. So we use much, many. Okay, much, many. In questions, negative sentences. We use too much, too many when we have more than we need or want. Too much, too many. Pay attention to my pronunciation. So you, you don't need this much. This is too much or too many. For example, so this column with countable nouns, this column with uncountable nouns are shown. Okay. Have we got many interviews today? Have we got many interviews today? Many interviews here you can see as plural countable noun. How much time have we got? How much time have we got? Here you can see time. This is a question. There aren't, sorry, they haven't visited many countries. They haven't visited many countries. So many countries, countable, plural noun. There hasn't been much rain recently. There hasn't been much rain recently. So these two sentences are question, question, and negative, negative, okay? We use many, much in question and negative sentences. Now, I've got too many things to do. I've got too many things to do, yeah? You sound a kind of complainant. You're complaining about something. You don't like that. Lottery winners get too much money. Lottery winners get too much money. Okay, maybe you, you don't like it, that they get too much money, something like that. More than they need, okay. Now, let's talk about enough. We use enough with uncountable and uncountable nouns. When we want to say all that is necessary, all that is necessary, you, so you are happy with this amount. Okay. For example, have you got enough time to finish the report? Have you got enough time to finish the report? Here you can see enough plus time. I is uncountable noun. Now, they haven't got enough people. Let's help. They haven't got enough people, let's help. Here you can see enough plus people. People is countable, plural, noun. Okay, right, I hope it's understandable. Now one more example. 
Do you think he has enough experience to do the job well? Enough experience, here you can see, it is uncountable now, all right? Enough experience, okay. I hope this was understandable. Now you should complete the sentences with quantifiers. More than one may be possible. More than one may be possible. So there are eight sentences, eight sentences. Take your time, read the whole sentences, and then decide what quantifier goes to this space. Once you have finished, now you can see the answers. And you can check your words comparing to these answers. If you have mistakes, write me in the chat in the comment box. If you have uh, uh, if you have no mistakes, anyway, write in the comment box. I will I will be delighted uh, to read your comments. If you have questions, please do write in the comment box. I would be willingly helping you guys. Keep learning English. Stay with us. See you guys.